Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Welcome back. I am doing March's um, budget. I'm excited. It's in every dollar, um, which is my lifesaver. <laughs> so um, I'm going to break down everything. This is the month that I got my income taxes back. So uh, it, my income is a little bit higher than it normally is, but we'll go over each one of the entries so you guys can get an overview and hopefully um, I'll be able to help somebody get on track. So my paycheck was $25.76.23. Um, my mileage check was $201.26. I have not gotten that yet. If you see in the received, I've gotten my paycheck, but I haven't gotten the um I've submitted for the reimbursement for my mileage for the 16th through the 30th, which was really the 28th because that was February. Um, and then there'll be a second check towards the end of the month. Um, that will be from the 1st through the 15th of March. Please excuse me. Those are the dogs. This is just my life. I apologize. <laughs> um, Bree owes me about $25, but I'll add that in when she gives it back to me on Wednesday. Uh, there has been no child support um, this month or for the last 15, 16 months. So uh, we'll still just keep badgering child support until they find him. Um, no surprise gifts from God this year, this month, but, you know, we're blessed when they come in. Uh, we did get the IRS. It was thirty-seven oh five. I told you guys that it was much lower than I thought it was going to be. But the girls, even though they are here, they made too much money and I was not able to claim them. So it is what it is. Um, thank God I had Janae and we was able to claim her. Um, I was able to claim her and we kind of went from there. So let's move down to the giving. And my giving um, was... The first tie, which was off of my gross salary, which was four hundred and eighteen dollars, um, I do tithe off of my gross and not my net. Um, we contribute to St. Jude every month, twenty five dollars, and then the reason that the second tithe, which was off of my income tax, and I got that before I got my paycheck, and I was so scared that I was, you know, how money slips through your hands. So I did it in two separate transactions. So the 360, um, was less the $114 that I had to pay the state this year. So that's how it's a little bit off from the 10% from there. Um, my emergency fund is fully funded now. Yay. Um, I got the four walls covered and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, so the emergency fund, I've listened to a couple of you guys on, in the comments and, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the ladies and gentlemen, now we've got gentlemen, um, in ditching the debt. And, um, so I... I'm going to contribute $50 a pay period for right now until I can kind of figure it out because this was not a normal month. But so I did um, an automatic transfer of $50. It'll come out and go straight to savings every um, day of the first, the first day of the month. And then I contributed a thousand dollars out of my taxes. I'll do a separate video on my sinking funds, but um, just to kind of give you a background of why I have them. But I have a life happens. I have Janae school fees, pets, auto maintenance, household, birthdays, and then the baby. Um, yes, I'm going to be a nana. Um, if you guys didn't hear in the last video, but I'm really excited. Dre will be here around the 14th of May. And so thank you to everybody that's um, congratulated our family. So we're really excited because this is the first boy. <laughs> I have all girls, so... We're in new charted territory, but we're excited. Um, all right, so let's scoot down to the first set of expenses. So getting back to the four walls, um, I think most of you guys know that I have a Habitat home. So I think my house note is like 439 or something. I don't know how much my house note is, but um, it was behind. So I had to pay 880 
78. Um, it is completely caught up now. Um, my water bill is about 39.32. My Georgia Power was 121.99. My cell phone with myself and Janae was 111.84. Um, internet is 55.25. And then my trash, I was able to um, switch to a new company because it had gone up to $57, $58 with the old company and they wouldn't budge, so I left. So this new company has guaranteed me $39 for the next year and we'll go from there after that. Um, my ADT is $27.99. My Direct TV is $23.74. That will be coming off after the last payment in May. I will cut that completely off. I was just trying to fi uh, finish out the contract. It was $20 a month for each um, remaining um, month that you had on the contract. So it was only $3.74 to actually get the cable. So I decided to keep the cable, not pay out the contract, and I would only be coming out of, uh, right now, this is March, so March, April, May, probably about $15. So uh, I decided to eat that and at least get something for the $20 um, versus not getting anything. Um, Lawn, it's winter, so don't have anything with that. HOA dues, um, I think I'm going to start paying $25 a month on that so it's not such an overwhelming um, end of the year or during the year type thing. It's only $250 a year, so it's not that bad. Now, one more of the four walls, my truck note. Um, I paid $1,090.35, so that brought that current uh, the car insurance has not come out yet, but um, I took the twins off. They have a policy together, so mine for my truck is one twenty sixty six. Thank you, hallelujah. Um, and I allow for one hundred and sixty dollars a month on gas. So we'll see how that works. It's been working pretty well um, so far. So what I've decided for myself and Janae which she's going to use this against me in just a few minutes. But I took out, um, I'll show you a little bit further down when we, no, um, in the groceries. I'll show you in the groceries part. Um, I took out um, $50 for a restaurant. And what I decided to do with my groceries is at the beginning of the month is usually when um, I have the most um, or need to replenish the most. So I decided to do $200 at the beginning of the month. You see, I'm already over $13.95, but I'll take it out of the other weeks. And then just to replenish stuff, I did $50 a week. So we're back to four people in the household. Kiana, even though she's pregnant, she's really not eating a lot itself for um, fruit and stuff. So um, it's just really me, Brianna and Janae that's eating um, for the most part. So um, Brianna is going to start this month contributing um, and we'll figure out what to do with Kiki in a minute. <laughs> um, we don't have five months in this month, I don't think so. Um, I would have just added an extra $50 there. Dog food, you know, we have a total of four. Uh, Kiana will buy a 55-pound bag, and I'll buy a 50-pound bag at Sam's, which is twenty about $25 a piece, um, to make sure that all of the dogs are fed. Um, my allowance and the restaurant allowance, I decided to do that in cash. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, my allowance in the restaurant allowance. I decided to do that in cash because um, I'm hoping that I will get a sense of that it's over <laughs> once it's gone. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, I just did um, an extra hundred dollars when I went to Kroger and just took it out in cash. Um, Nay had a, an allowance of a hundred and about hundred, she had a hundred and forty dollars. Um, 
So she got her tennis shoes. She went to Five Below and she designed her own um, hoodie, which was Holy Pineapple. I think I told y'all that. So she, um, that was her amount total, 132.22. Um, I paid 39 for the gym. That is a part of the money that Bree owes me back because um, we paid 19.50 a piece. This is our last month with that. I think I'm going to just walk outside. Um, I just hadn't been, honestly, it's just been going too much going on, and I just have not been to the gym. So that was an added expense that I could get rid of. Um, household goods, um, I tried a lot, about $30, um, whether that's laundry detergent or trash bags or soap or whatever. So... $30 for that. And then Larry Griffin was my accountant or is my accountant. And so um, I owed him $175. All right. So let's get down to the debt. $382.11 was sent to Ashley Stewart. Thank God it is gone. It is closed. And I have requested a letter that it has been closed. Um, Capital One is, I sent them $400. I, um, if you look up at the top, it's $185.24 left. And I just sent them $400 just to make sure that I did send them something. Once again, that money will get out of hand and it'll be gone. And I was like, I just don't want to take that chance. So once I get both of my, um, mileage checks, I'll send them another big payment. Well, not a big payment, maybe um, between $100 and $200, uh, maybe even three, but we'll see. Um, and then my regular payment is $65 on the second Capital One. Um, my Home Depot, yes, I have $40 left. Um, my hot water heater, um, expl not exploded, it died. And I had to go get parts. Money was tight. So I did use my Home Depot. But um, this is the last payment. Um, and that is done. So um, I hope this helps you guys. Um, you see the breakdown. Giving was about 12%. Um, Savings was about 17%. Housing was about 20%. And well, this is not going to really be reflective because I was catching up some stuff. So maybe we'll go over the, the um, percentages next month because this is not really accurate over here right now. Not something that is the norm. So we'll hold out on that. But anyway, I wanted to share with you guys and let you guys know exactly where the income taxes went and um, how we did our budget. Once again, if you guys have not come over to Ditching the Debt on Facebook, please do so. The ladies and gentlemen over there, they are so supportive. We keep each other accountable. We root each other on. Um, we do no spins and we share what we're doing. And then we turn around and um, see how, you know, just do check-ins and see how everybody's doing throughout the month. Uh, and so... I really wish you guys would come over. Once again, it's Ditching the Debt on Facebook. You just do a search. It'll say um, that, I, you know, I need to approve you. I just, you know, approve you and we'll welcome you into the family. If you have not subscribed, please do so. To all my loyal butterflies, you know that I love you. And um, make sure you like and share the video. And we'll see you the next time, butterflies. Love you.